Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says solve for X and it's giving us this shape right here. We have a 75 degree angle here. We have this segment the same length as this segment, the same length as this segment. And there's a right angle right here and it wants us to find the value of X. If you wanna try it on your own, pause it right now because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. First, let's focus on this right triangle. Any triangle can be inscribed in a circle, so let's inscribe it in a circle. And for every inscribed right triangle, the hypotenuse is the diameter of the circle. So we know that the center is gonna lie on this hypotenuse. And since we know this is congruent to this, we know the center is gonna be right there. And each of these are a radius of the circle. And we can draw another radius from the center of the circle to the vertex of the right angle. Now I think this is everything we need to solve the problem. If you wanna pause it now, because I'm gonna actually solve it in three, two, one. For the next step, if this angle is X, this angle right here will also be X, and these are called vertical angles. And then we don't know how big this angle is, so let's call it Y. So now if we focus on this angle right here, if the inscribed angle is Y, the arc that it subtends is always double the inscribed angle. So this arc from here to here is two Y degrees. And then if we focus on this angle, the central angle is always congruent to the measure of the arc. So if this arc is two Y degrees, this angle will be two Y degrees. Next, we can label this angle right here Z degrees. And if we focus on this isosceles triangle, in an isosceles triangle, you have two sides congruent and you also have the base angles congruent. So this angle right here will also be equal to Z degrees. So now we're ready to do some algebra. We can focus on these three angles right here. We have two Y plus Z plus 75 is equal to 180. And then next we can focus on this triangle right here. The sum of the interior angles of any triangle is 180 degrees. We know that X plus Y plus 75 is equal to 180. And last, let's focus on this right triangle. We know that X plus Z plus 90 will equal 180. Now let's clean these up a little bit. For the first one, we can subtract 75 from both sides and we can do the same thing for the second one. And then for the third one, we can subtract 90 from both sides. 75 minus 75 is zero. 75 minus 75 is zero and 90 minus 90 is zero. And then 180 minus 75 is 105, 180 minus 75 is 105, and 180 minus 90 is 90. Right now we have an X, a Y, and a Z, and we wanna solve for X. We're gonna do this with elimination. Now let's rearrange things a little bit. For this second equation, let's multiply both sides of the equation by negative two. This negative two will distribute to both of these, giving us negative two X and negative two Y. And then on the right-hand side, 105 times negative two is negative 210. And let's shift that up here. Now we can add these two equations together. We can bring down the negative two X, positive two Y, negative two Y will go away, and we can bring down the positive Z. And then on this side, 105 minus 210 is negative 105. And now we're down to X and Z, so we just gotta eliminate the Z. We're gonna multiply both sides of this bottom equation by negative one. The negative one will distribute to give us negative X and negative Z, and on the right-hand side, it'll be negative 90. And then we can bring that up here and add the two equations together. Negative 2X minus 1X will be negative 3X, and negative 105 minus 90 is negative 195. Now to solve for X, let's divide both sides by negative three. On the left-hand side, we have X, and on the right-hand side, negative 195 divided by negative three is positive 65. So now we've found this unknown angle, X is equal to 65. And this is the answer to our question, let's put a box around it. How exciting. Here's the next problem I plan on working on if you guys wanna try it out. I'll post the solution as soon as I solve it. How exciting.